Hey y'all, Candace here from Little Steps Big Happy. I talk about health and fitness for moms. So today I want to talk about morning habits and specifically morning habits that are really good for weight loss. As moms, life gets crazy, right? Like there have been days where I have woken up and it's just been nonstop all day. It's go, go, go. Kids need this, kids need that. I gotta take care of X, Y, and Z. And before I know it, kind of my day is gone. And I really didn't get to do half of the stuff that I had envisioned being able to do, um, especially when it comes to eating well, exercising, and really kind of prioritizing my health. That is kind of just the way it goes for us, right? So one of the things that I have learned is that a lot of times having a really good morning routine kind of helps set you up for success for the rest of the day. Either it's something that maybe jumpstarts your metabolism, something that gets your mind into that space of, hey, I'm the person who makes healthy choices, right? Like both of those really can go a long way towards helping you really kind of maybe either have a better day or maybe make better choices throughout the day or just overall things that help your weight. So I really think that having a good morning routine a lot of times is a good way to set yourself up, you know, to be successful throughout the rest of the day. And I mean, hey, right? Life is crazy. We can use all the help we can get. I know I certainly can. So I wanted to share with y'all um, five things that I know that are really good that you can try adding into your morning routine that are really going to help you lose weight. So number one, drink a glass of water first thing in the morning. This seems simple, but this is very helpful. I mean, A, it's simple, but it's so good for your weight loss, right? Like the more water you drink, the better your system's going to function, the more hydrated you're going to be, so the less like you're going to have to have those extra cravings throughout the day. Drinking water, very, very good for weight loss, very good for your overall health. And it's something so simple that's going to get you right then, like first thing in the morning, I'm doing something healthy for myself, right? Like a lot of times, like I mentioned before, it's getting your mindset into that place of somebody who makes healthy decisions. And so drinking a cup of water first thing in the morning, super simple, super easy. And that right there, it's already going to kind of be that little boost for the day of, hey, look at me. I already did something good for myself. So that's a really good one. Number two, get enough sleep. And so I call this the morning habit. Sometimes it transitions it all the way into the evening, but it is so, so important, especially for losing weight, really kind of taking care of your health. You need enough sleep. I don't know about you, but I'm not making good decisions when I'm tired. You know, when I'm exhausted, when I'm worn out, I'm not making healthy decisions. I'm probably trying to grab the sugariest carb thing I can find because it tastes good and I need the energy and I feel sorry for myself because I'm so tired and I deserve a treat and all the thoughts, right? Like none of us are probably making really good healthy decisions or even wanting to make healthy decisions when we're tired. Plus they've done studies that show that getting enough sleep really helps boost your weight loss. It helps your body do its job of losing weight. So even when you're doing all the right things, but if you're not getting enough sleep, your body really can't process those the way it's supposed to. So sleep, super important. Number three, if you can fit it in, getting an exercise in first thing in the morning, well, <laughs> exercise and getting a workout in first thing in the morning, so good for your weight loss. Not only is this another one of those, check me out, I make healthy decisions, I started this, I mean like it gives you energy throughout the rest of the day, you're going to feel like a healthier person. So you're going to be more likely to make healthy choices. Like I worked out this morning. So, hey, I'm going to opt for the healthy lunch today because I'm just awesome with it, right? Like you're already on a roll. You're already making good decisions for yourself. And so you're kind of going to be more likely to want to keep that momentum going throughout the rest of your day. Plus, I mean, when you work out in the morning, it's going to boost your metabolism. It's going to start your body, right? Burning fat, burning calories, all the things first thing in the morning. Like that is the best way to start your day. Number four, make a meal plan for the day. I have said this a billion times and I'll probably say it a billion more, but meal plans are so good, especially when you're trying to lose weight. You are 42% more likely to follow through on something if you write it down. So when you take those two to three minutes to decide what am I going to eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you're 42% more likely to follow through on it. So 42% more likely to make healthy choices all day long. Like that is huge. That's so helpful. Plus, 
as a mom, I can tell you right now, when I don't have to think about what I'm eating, when I'm tired, when somebody's asking me what's for dinner, when it's been a long, crazy day, and I don't have to be like, oh God, what am I gonna eat? Well, I don't know. Well, I should eat this, but I want this, or that. Like, dealing with all that mental drama, it is amazing, and it makes it so much easier to follow through on healthy decisions, to eat healthier, when I don't have to think about it at the, at the end of a long, tired day, right? It's just been decided. All I have to do is follow through. And I mean, like, of all the things that I have tried for losing weight, this is one of the easiest and most effective that I have found. Just write down what you're going to eat for the day. Even if you don't follow it 100%, if you followed it 80, it'd probably still be way better than if you had just been like, oh, I'll just figure it out as I go along. And then you don't know what's coming up in the moment of temptation when you're hungry. Maybe you don't make a great choice. All of that gets so much easier when you write it down ahead of time. So, yes, make a meal plan. And number five, spend a couple minutes setting your intentions for the day. What kind of day do you want to have? What kind of things do you want to think about? What type of things do you want to remember? Like, what's your goal for the day? One of the things that I really like to do is like, what's a healthy habit I'm working on right now? So maybe it's like, hey, today I'm going to try really hard to leave two bites behind. And I've spent just a few minutes thinking about that, kind of envisioning that, really taking a couple minutes to decide where the times of this is going to be easy, where the times of this is going to be hard. You know, how do I want to make sure that I remember this today? And it's something small, but kind of like writing your meal plan for the day. It really helps you follow through with it. So versus your healthy habits being an afterthought that you hope you remember when you're tired and you're stressed and somebody's asking you for a snack five minutes after they refuse their lunch, right? <laughs> when you're dealing with all that, it's hard sometimes to remember what were my healthy habits like? What was I gonna do today that was really gonna help me with this stuff? But when you spend a few time, like a few minutes in the morning and you think about it and you kind of visualize it a little bit and you just set that intention and that plan for yourself, even if you don't write this one down, of course, writing it down is helpful, but sometimes, you know, right, life's crazy. I would rather you write your meal plan down than this one, but spending a few minutes, even just thinking about it will really set you up to be so much more likely to follow through. And I mean, and that's the whole point of, right, of having a really good morning routine is how can I set myself for success for the day with my weight loss and my health? So that's what I have for you guys. Um, I hope you like it. If you're like, hey, those are cool. You got any more? Um, I did. I wrote a whole blog post about it. There's some more morning routines. And like, don't feel overwhelmed by this list. If you could do all of this, great. If you only find one thing in here that you're ready to implement, that's great too, right? Like that's better than nothing. Every little step that you take is going to get you further along in your journey, even if you're not ready to do it all at once. So that's totally fine. Like take what works for you now and keep trucking along. I hope y'all are doing well. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.